today's project um, they're going to be um, sort of horizontal clamps for the milling table um, <clears throat> pretty basic project here but I have a job that I want to do coming up that is just sort of like a tooling plate and it's too large for me to hold in my vise so I thought this would be a good way to um, hold larger things that that aren't necessarily good for the vise so I got myself some some ground um, A2 they were some drops uh, first thing I'll have to do is bring in the overall length uh, I'll probably at least do one side and the cutout here um, at the top section and also bring the overall height in um, and then probably even do the slots at that point so I'm thinking probably two or three operations really to get this done um, I'll do a little layout I'll get to use my angle parallels and uh, it should be a pretty nice little side project I have a readout set up against the edge of my table here um, which is going to help me bring in my overall length so I already have it zeroed because I already measured one piece in on the overall so I'm just working my way back to zero and I'll do that with all three of the parts This layout job is going to be pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to mark the two sides basically from the bottom and the side to sort of give me a guideline to cut out the L shape. So this is a pretty pretty simple job for the calipers here. Most people frown upon this um, but these are my calipers and I'll do whatever I want with them. And I also have another pair that's a good pair. So here it's actually 3 8 on both sides, so this ledge ends up being 3 8 and this bottom section ends up being 3 8 and all of this chunk will be getting removed, plus a little bit off the top. And actually it wouldn't hurt to put that on there, so that would be 8 13. And I like laying out, even though I'm going to rough this, I like laying out finish lines. That way I know that if I don't hit that line, I still have material left. So the next setup, I'm just going to work to those lines.
Okay, what I have here is a 5 16 end mill. Um, it's cobalt, it's not carbide. And it's a roughing end mill. So you can see the, the ridges on the flutes. So I already did one piece. Um, I did this full depth in two passes. I'm going to try to do it in one here. Um, it's about um, 5 eighths of an inch deep cut. Like I said, this is a 5 16 end mill. Um, it's a little rough going in, getting started, but once it's in there, it seems to do pretty good. It just takes a slower, more gentle feed rate. So, we'll see how it performs going the full depth. So I'm going to call this about wrapped up for this time. Um, I, I pretty much just have this side roughed out. I'm going to take this big chunk off, probably off camera. That'll be pretty boring stuff. And then the next time, just do the um, 5 degree angle with the hole and the slots for the hold down. So we'll finish that up in the next part. Thanks for watching.